Because some people have different aspects on the whole dating thing. So do you think it's better to date? Because a lot of times people say it's better to get to know yourself, you know, go take a, a, a trip to Dubai by yourself and all these things. Or how do you feel about dating around? Because sometimes that can have a negative connotation too. It's like, you don't need to be dating all these people at one time. <laughs> so where do you find a happy medium? What do you think? Um, honestly, for me, I mean, when it comes to dating, obviously you need to know what you want, right? So if you don't know yourself, if you haven't found yourself or if you haven't taken the time to get to know what your needs and wants are, you can't date effectively. So that's step one. Jumping from relationship to relationship is not okay. <laughs> Especially if you haven't learned anything, it's okay to take a little time, you know, to relax and, you know, chill out. But some people don't need that. So it just depends on the person. However, I am an advocate of dating several people at a time, okay. as in getting to know each, you know, the person, not necessarily entering into a sexual relationship, but just getting to know different people. It's not exclusive. You have options. You get to know this person, you get to know this person. And that's just what has worked for me. And then ultimately, usually someone stands out, right? So there's a guy, you know. I know what qualities I'm looking for. I'm getting to know several people. We're hanging out. I'm getting to know them. I think the key also is letting them know, hey, I'm just dating. I'm getting to know people. It's not a secret. <laughs> it's not, you know, so you get to know them and then that one person will stand out. You'll have more chemistry usually with that one person mm -hmm. and it keeps your options open. And then once you two decide to enter into an exclusive relationship, then that's when you, you know get rid of the others, I guess, for lack of a better term, but you move on, you let them know, hey, you know, I'm in a relationship or I found someone and that's kind of how it has worked for me. So I'm an advocate. I say date them all, yeah. but let them know and be open. That doesn't mean sleep with everyone. That doesn't mean, you know, go away. You know, it's, it just depends on the person, but that's just what has worked for me. Mm. No, I love it because I, and I'm glad that you made the clarity of like, you don't have to sleep with everybody because a lot of times people think when you're dating, they're like, oh, you're smashing seven different guys. Like, right. <laughs> you know, right. People, and yeah. And I, I've realized that that some men can't handle, you know, a woman who wants to date. And I think it's important just to find what works for you and to find someone who's on the same page. So some people can just date one at a time. Some people can date several but I think it's it's just important to be open during the process and enjoy it. I mean, dating should not be a task. It should not be a job. You should be able to enjoy it. If you're not able to, then look into that. Why am I not enjoying dating? What needs to be fixed, tweaked, healed? What am I looking for? What am I gaining from it? Or how does it benefit me? Mm, I love it. I love it. And I love yeah. the details that you give. So you don't have to uh, smash your seven dates. <laughs> <laughs> and you, please and don't. If, and if you do, that's what you do. That's that's nobody's trying to police your body. Right. No uh, judgment here. Yeah. Uh, I think it'll kind of cloud your judgment, and it'll it'll be a mess, you know, at the end of the day. But again, what works for you works for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have that, and then we also have. I love that you said not basically not ghosting. Like if you have seven guys on your roster. If you got an NBA team, you got five and then you got two on the bench. <laughs> so if you have seven, I like that you said it's good to let those those uh, five or six know that they didn't make the roster cut. It's true. It's true. Communication is very important. As you know, I'm an advocate um, for effective, clear communication. And honestly, men are hunters. If you let them know, hey, you know, I'm getting to know people, I'm you know, they're going to show up for the, you know, the best selves, but caution to that, pay attention, you know, and, and date with intent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, that's true. Because a lot of times people can't handle um, ending, I won't say a relationship, but just dating mm -hmm. somebody. And then you don't really have to say like, end. like you could still be friends with somebody. It's true. It's true. And it doesn't have to be this grand, oh my gosh, she doesn't like me or, oh, he doesn't want me anymore. It's okay. Like we're not for everyone. <laughs> so it's about finding compatibility. It's like, Hey, you know, I think you're a great person. You're just not, you know, the type of person that I want to pursue a relationship with. And that's okay. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Cause guys struggle with, with, with rejection. We struggle with that <laughs> for the most part, especially if we like you, you find, you know, you <laughs> We got to smell the perfume. We went on a date and it's just like, oh, I didn't make the cut. And some guys take it because, and I guess I'm telling my age back in the day, 
if you got rejected, it was just like, I will never see her again. Like, <laughs> she didn't call it's me. Okay. It's, <laughs> it's okay. Sometimes rejection works out for your better good, you know, instead of being stuck or dealing with someone who's not for you, you know, in the long run, it work, It can work out. Sometimes rejection is just okay. It's God's way of saying, I have something better in store for you. Mm, yes. Yeah. Rejection is God's protection. Absolutely. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have church. <laughs> In the tweet you posted, it stated, wait, and, and I love this, it said, wait for the one who shatters every notion you've ever known love to be. Can you break that down for me? Yeah. 